I guess one of the things. Oh, oh big trouble. trouble. Front stretch. Steve Park, Kyle Petty, Todd Bodine got a piece of it. And I believe Christian Fittipaldi did also. Man, oh man. Well, that took six laps. Now, that'd be the second car of the weekend for Steve Park, who had a practice crash here on uh, Friday, yesterday. Let's see who should be mad here. Well, we see Todd Bodine in the 54 car, and it looks like Jeff Green gets in the back of the 30. Jeff Green in the one gets in the back of Steve Park, and up the hill he goes. Into the wall, and Kyle Petty. I think Todd is going to get into Kyle here, trying to avoid Steve Park. Yeah. Locked him up, got bumped by Casey Mears. Clunk. So that didn't take long. The first angry drivers of the night have been found here in Bristol. Got four tires. Here we go. I think everybody just checked up because Burton got a little bit loose there. And then it's the typical old accordion effect here at BP. Everybody checked up and we didn't see the contact on that shot there between Jason Leffler and Greg Biffle, but it was a pretty good hit. How about Leffler into Wimmer? So when we got this, and look Bill at all the cars down, hits the wall hard on the inside. Watch all the cars just in front of Jeff Gordon when they came ripping through there. They were about to get lapped. What a huge break for Sterling Marlin and some others. Oh, I see why Jeff Burton got loose. Yeah, now I do too. Biffle got in the back of him, and when he backed off, yeah, Wimmer didn't. And uh, Joe Nemec, uh, Jeff Gordon, let Joe Nemechek, his teammate. Get that lap back. And here come all the leaders on to pit road. By Ryan and mega pressure. Oh, Ryan Look at by Jeff Gordon. Oh, Newman can't hang on to it. And here comes the field. Man, oh, man. He's mad. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. There you go. That's that How many we have to? We have a cube and track. All right, wait a minute now. We had four in the first one. Right. Three in the second one. No, wait a minute. 99, 16. Four in the second one. So this is, this is. This is uh, nine now. be nine mad guys. Do you agree with my math there? Oh, man. I will, on, I will on this one, yeah. Thank you. Ryan Newman racing for second a minute ago. Now he's trying to gather it back up and get back going in the right direction. He and Jeff Gordon making contact, bringing out the third caution here at Bristol. Hey, Matt, is Borland hot or what? Well, he's watching his race. Oh, trouble. trouble! Michael Waltrip. Oh, it's clobbered. As Rusty Wallace had no place to go with Waltrip coming down the track. Oh, pretty good. Right into his path. Greg Biffle, Tony Raines getting laps back from Jeff Gordon. Track, we're going to end up at the bottom. Yep, you want to... A lot of times, nine out of ten times, you want to go above the crash if you're seeing it from here because the cars always slide back down the racetrack. Oh, my goodness gracious. And I see why Michael was so upset. He was upset at himself. Yeah. Because yeah. he caught too much of the apron, and I think, and lost the car. And we'll watch him here as he goes down into turn three. He drops down, hits that apron, gets the car loose, and... Bam, and then the big bam. Oh. oh, that was our camera. And the lights went out. Yeah. Michael Waltrip was racing for eighth position with Jeff Green. Michael Waltrip has finished every race so far this season. His wife's up. He's watching. I don't think he's going to finish tonight, Alan. No. Marty. And he's very disgusted. Michael, what happened? Just uh, ran out of room. Uh, Jeff squeezed me down a little bit, and I hit the apron and got loose. So just unfortunate. We got two tires, and the car was a little tight for a few laps. But uh, it was coming around. I got under Jeff, and, you know, I just got squeezed in a little bit tight and just messed up. Uh, Jeff's doing his job, and uh, just hate it for Rusty and hate it for our whole Napa team. Everybody's doing such a great job this year. It's a shame to have a setback like this, but we can go win Darlington, and uh, this won't seem near as important. This team has made very few mistakes this year. They haven't had a DNF since last year at Richmond. 
Cubs. Jeff Gordon leads. Kevin Harvick second. Mike Skinner third. Mark Martin fourth. Ricky Rudd fifth. Ooh. Oh, three wide. Oh, Larry Floyd bumped yeah. by Jeff Green. Here we go. Oh, it's a three wide. Just doesn't work. Oh, we got another car spinning in the back. Joe Nemechek. And he gets hit by... Uh, that was uh, Bill Elliott. And Elliott got hit by someone. Now, watch Robbie Gordon. Robbie Gordon trying to get it back, but I don't think Jeff Gordon is going to give it to him back. Do you think? No. <laughs> So there we go. Well, that one didn't take long to come out. Three wide does not generally work well here at Bristol. Nor does it work well when one car gets run into the back up by another. <laughs> Larry Boyd in the spin cycle along with Joni Machek. You're watching NASCAR on TNT. Okay, quick guess at home. Will the camera live through the accident? On board with Dale Jack. Check up. Check up. Check up. All right, come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Uh oh. Ah, uh, made it. Jamie McMurray with the camera on the nose of the uh, Texaco Haviland car. What a great camera shot. Oh, and, and Dave Blaney just squeezed by. Back to green flag. Sharpie 500, Bristol Motor Speedway in Tennessee. Just past the 150 lap mark, and Jeff Gordon has been the dominant driver so far tonight. Four again, the great flag. Uh-oh. Turn three. Big trouble. Tony Stewart, Joe Nemechek, Casey Mears. Now Bobby oh, Labonte Bobby. behind them. What a miserable corner for Joe Gibbs. You see Stewart limping away. Oh, and, a and the leader card. just got slammed. Just about got drove over by Sauter. Johnny Benson trying to get a lap back. And Jeremy Mayfield. Oh, man. Okay. That was interesting. That was real interesting. What happened? Watch Matt Kenseth. Here he comes off the corner. He, and these cars behind him much faster than Kenseth. And here, Kurt Busch gets in the back of the 41 car. And Tony Stewart gets... Who's that? Everybody got Joe hooked Joe Nemechek. Yeah. Well, I don't know what happened way back there with uh, Bobby. Now watch Bobby. in the top right. There's Christian Fittipaldi smoking. That happened way back further. Let's have a look at this. Never see Bobby Labonte trying to avoid hitting other cars. Backing in the fence. And watch Johnny Sauter and Jeff Gordon just hit him barely, but on board with Kurt Busch. Doesn't take much. Auto coming going outside. Jimmy Johnson. Sixth caution of the night is out at Bristol. Looked like uh, he might have got a little bit of help there from the 74 car of Tony Reigns. Looked like he got a little bit of a bump getting off of turn two. And Ricky Craven had to gather a oh, car. trouble off turn four. Ryan Newman goes around. Ted Musgrave. Jeff Burton in it. Dave hey, Blaney's in it. Caution's out. Looks like Burton got the worst of it. Right. Let's see what happened on this one. We got how many more bad guys here? Three, four. See the uh, Ted Musgrave in the seven car. Looks like he got in the back of Ryan Newman. Got him turned around, and then he got turned around by Jeff Burton. And then he's going to get turned around by Dave Blaney. Blaney. Dave Blaney. Blaney. There's four mad guys to go to the list. Yeah. And you know the 12 car Newman continues on. I don't think he's got a lot of damage, but these cars do. Saturday night at Bristol, a lot of racing, a lot of wrecking, and <laughs> there'll be some tempers flaring up tonight. There, Jeff Burton's not enjoying the sights right now, Dave. And uh, Jeff Burton checking with all of his crew, everyone he looks at, they just shake their heads. Can you believe it? Well, I can't. Uh, Sicko car was really fast tonight. We started in the back, and uh, we just marched up through there. We were uh, didn't do no pitch strategy or anything like that. Just marched up passing cars and. It's just disappointing. You know, nobody did anything wrong. It's just a Bristol wreck. They got piled up in front of me. I had nowhere to go. And the guy behind me had nowhere to go. And it's a wreck. It's just uh, it's what makes Bristol fun to watch, but not so much fun to do sometimes. As Kevin Harvick has been shuffled quickly back to fourth after the restart. There's Gordon taking a look. Got the crack position. Oh, turn three. As Jeff Gordon takes the lead away from Mike Skinner, the caution is out. Jeff Green has crashed. Boy, that one car is... Hmm. Had a long night already. It's only 192 laps in. 
I don't know if he's finished it off here. It they might, definitely has finished it off. It might be merciful. Merciful. <laughs> Eighth caution flag tonight. I tell you, it looks like someone make just. So many times we see a little bit of bump going in the corner, and they back him in the wall. That's what they look like. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you're you're on the edge of this place all the time anyway, so it doesn't take a whole lot of contact. That's exactly what happened, BP. Just a little touch like that. That was for 19th place. And it looks like, racing. oh, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, until you come up to that part right there. Mm. A lot of sparks there. Thank goodness the fuel didn't rupture. Bristol in a minute. The major change, they pulled a tear off of the windshield that their liquid sprayed from the 31 car. Ricky Ace, under the last call, she just kept saying, thank you guys, thank you, thank you. This car is just so awesome. Troubles for Ted Musgrave. No caution yet. Now the caution comes out. Musgrave trying to limp around after getting squeezed into the backstretch wall. As he and uh, Ricky Craven got tangled together there, I think. This car. Check it out. Coming off turn two. Oh, man. I think there's more to that that we haven't seen. It looked like Ricky just turned into it. Clear high? Uh, oops, sorry. I'll tell you yeah. one thing, there's a lot of damage to that 32 car, I believe. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of damage on the right side. Look at Robbie Gordon coming up alongside Joan Imachek. Robbie back on track after losing six oh, trouble. Months for repairs. And he may have some more repairs to make yep. right now. Here, here's one thing. When you're 68 laps down and you start racing with guys, guys aren't going to put up with that. If a guy's starting to race me when I'm when somebody's 68 laps down, you're, you're just not going to have any patience with them at all. Still there. Another one's there. Inside. Inside. Telling you what, 10 cautions, and we're just halfway in the race. We might be rocking and rolling here all night. Sure that Jimmy could not be any uh, more remorseful for his part of the incident. And I'll tell you what, NASCAR in suspending. Whoop, got trouble. Christian Fittipaldi, front straightaway. Caution flag number 11. Uh-oh. That's my number, wasn't it? I ain't have any more. Yeah. And just to finish the story briefly, Jimmy Spencer could not be hurt any worse by missing yeah. this race. Yeah, he loves this place. This is his best racetrack, and, and the punishment could not be any more severe for Jimmy Spencer than having to sit out this weekend here at Bristol. And he was sitting out, he had to miss the truck race, the bush race, and the cup race. Yep. So that one hurts. Allen, they took a rubber out of the right rear to try to prove the handle of that car. They can go about 160 laps. That would get them to 440. If it stays green, it probably just be fuel. Backstretch, caught into the inside wall, it's Larry Foyt. And yes, the caution flag is out. BP, you're out of here. Just blew right by my number. Uh-huh. Right, Casey Beard's going to get a lap back. Is Mark going to let him do it? Yes, he did. That will put Casey Mears on the lead lap. That was a gentleman thing to do. Let's see if someone was not very gentlemanly to Larry Foyt. I guess that would be in the affirmative. Oh, no, that just got out from under him there. Then he got finished off. Another caution at Bristol. We'll be back. Second, no more. Oh, that didn't take long. What was oh, that? Oh, what was that? Did someone throw something out of the grandstand? Oh, I don't know, but that was... It looked like a big deal caution. of styrofoam. That looked like a bomb or something thrown from the stands. Caution is out for debris. Man, that was strange. Debris on the track. Let's take a look here. You can see when they go down the straightaway, right there. What is they're, that? Well, they're talking about following the 54 car very carefully. So maybe something came off Todd Bodine's car. He was involved in an accident earlier. Could be a piece of the bumper or 
It looked like styrofoam or something. Definitely a piece of the card. Yeah. And uh, Mark Martin ran over that thing. It looked like pretty hard. He's got to be wondering about his tires right now. He else comes into pit, say with 170, 160 to go. They'll stay out, get the track position, let everybody fall in behind him and try to pass him. Rudd trying to go by Junior for the eighth position. Backstretch car to the inside wall. It's Elliot Sadler. Up the bank, down the bank. And big damage. And the radiator is broken as you see that trail of water and another caution flag. That is a uh, similar looking incident to the one he had last year, yeah. after which he got out and um, slapped the side of the ambulance. Well, let's see if somebody's made him mad. Me and Johnny Sauter. And he tried to turn away from spinning out Johnny Sauter and Guess what? Mm. Well, he's mad at himself. Mad at himself, yeah. Up the track, back around, down the leader. He's still chasing it. Joe Nemechek squeaks by and catches a piece of it. And that's who would that's who got him last year, wasn't it? Nemechek? Wasn't that what they were all about? Between him and uh, Elliot? Who's he mad at now, last I'm year? trying to remember now. You, you put me on the spot. And I'm drawing a blank. Was it, it, Joe? Nemechek, yeah. This is going to leave a mark. Ooh. Caution number 14 here at Bristol. How about uh, Kurt Busch running second, Matty? Oh, got a car in the wall. Turn four. Bobby Labonte. Caution flag is out. And this would be number 15. Okay, those guys have talked about 350, 350. Now might be the time for them to make a pit stop. 162, it'll be 161 to go, and Ryan Newman gets picked up by the pace car. But a lousy night for Bobby Labonte. He can't take too many hits with the back of that car. No be the second one. He tearing up the pieces pretty soon. He's fifth. And you've got Kenny Wallace sixth, Kurt Busch seventh, Jamie McMurray eighth, Ricky Craven ninth, and a spinner down the front stretch and one into the outside wall. It's Mark Martin. Before we even get to tell you what happened to Mark Martin on his pit stop, he's into the outside wall. And, and Mark was in such a good spot when after you tell what stop. happened. Yeah, after the pit stop. And he had to come in, Alan, I'll tell you about that, but what a... Put away and let's load this car up. All right, here's what happened to bring out the caution flag. Top of the screen. Looked like Johnny Sauter and maybe Bill Elliott got tangled up. Boy, Mark just got collected. <laughs> Sauter came off the wall and just caught Mark in the right rear as he went by, turning head on in the wall. Dave? Now let's catch up with Mark here. Mark checking out the damage and collecting his things. Mark, tell us about that. Johnny Sauter, he's... <laughs> he lost it. He's a weapon out there all night, man. I couldn't believe it. You know, and I see he's still out there running. No, I don't know. This wasn't our night. We had a, a great car. It's just... Uh, that just figures, you know. I, I really believe that we had a chance to win that thing. It looked like it from down here and up there, too, guys, didn't it? A little bit of free racetrack before you can get back to seventh place. Now Jimmy Johnson. Uh-oh. He's got by Casey Mears. Oh, there was a lot of... And a lot of people are about to... Oh, turn one. Sterling Marlin has crashed. Second place car. And the caution flag is out. Turn one. Uh-oh. He's going to get some help from Kurt Busch. Sure did. And I'll tell you what, when you get hit going into a corner, that's there's not a whole lot you can do. That's the worst. Watch here as he goes down at turn one. Gets in the back of Sterling. When you're turning down into the racetrack, goes, and you're, you're already loose, get in. I'll tell you what, there's not a whole lot you can do to save it. Dave? There's the stack up we're talking about. Kenny Wallace got in the side of uh, Casey. They did a good job. Now they come down into the corner. A clunk, clunk, bang. <laughs> Sterling.
Sterling Marlins car sits broadside across the racetrack. 21's got some damage there. 21, look the right front on the 21 car. Uh, oh, man. Bill? Well, left side tires look good. Same thing happened to him last week at Michigan. Caution is coming out. Hearing that something has fallen off the 40 car. That's why his number is up on the black flag board. Look at some guys getting their laps back here. Casey Mears, Steve Park, Tony Stewart getting a lap back from Kurt Busch. Saying it's a bumper brace from the 40 car. The high so far this season was 17 done here at Bristol back in March. Jeff Gordon with his fresh tires. Oh! oh, Matt Kenseth in the traffic jam gets Gordon. Well, there's a caution flag that Jared needed, but it certainly wasn't one. That was Matt Kenseth on his team radio. Real slow right there. Gordon tries to duck down underneath him. Got tagged by the 17 car. I couldn't really... Third one in line. Yeah. Yeah, but you're right. The 49 car, I guess, picked up that dreadful push off the corner. Had to back up, and with Jeff... Backed up, back off the gas to turn under the 49. That's when Kenseth got in the back of him. He had a tire going down, Benny. Left front tire going down on the 49. Okay. Really? That's Kenseth. Well, what has been a very difficult last month or so for Jeff Gordon continues tonight here at Bristol. He's finished in the 30s, three of the last four races. And the local car, driven by Johnny Sauter, going behind the wall. We started 18th. They have made up a couple of spots. He said, you know what? We were not going to hold on the ninth where we were, and then we'll spin on the track. Tony Raines gets turned around in turn two. And the caution flag is out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, for a record-tying 20th time. That equals the track record for the That's most yellows of all time in a Winston Cup race here at Bristol. And Tony Raines, who got back on the lead lap after falling behind early in the race with a slow leaking tire. I believe got back around on the lead lap. Yeah, he did. Get the leader, get us. 20... He did get us. He did get us. You're all right. You're okay. That's right. But he's mad. I think this tight to center, Larry. I just can't get going, man. I just keep running over me in the middle. Come on down Fair Road. You get a quick yellow. You're going to have to start at the tail end of the longest line. You know, we keep trying to come back from these commercial breaks in time so we get the restarts. So it left us with a little unfinished business last time. 